Uh, hello everybody, um, today I'm looking at my beech forest. I'm um, sorry I haven't got it down uh, where I've got the fence as a background for you, um, but it's actually very heavy in this pot and although I can just about lift it, uh, I don't want to risk trying to carry it down to the my usual videoing area. Um, I'd be gutted if I dropped it and broke the pot or or if it just fell apart. It's only been in this pot for a short while after all. Um, although the trees are firming up, uh, they've probably not made a full mat of root throughout this entire pot yet. So, so yeah, so that's the reason why we're doing it here uh, and not down there. One of the things I've been having to do is um, just, well, not having to, but I've been taking a lot of time to get out all these field maple seeds because um, I don't want to have to spend a lot of time next spring and summer uh, weeding out all the little field maple seeds um, seedlings. But let's move you in a little bit closer start looking at a few of the individual trees. Okay so if we look at this uh, tree on the corner here we have a very odd arrangement with uh, this branch coming round and towards the front of the tree and this one sort of going up and over the top of that um, and more to the rear and I think that's what I want to keep I want to lose this double arrangement if I can so I'm simply going to lose um, a significant portion of this lower piece like so um, but still keep this part which is quite an interesting piece in its own right um, and I will shorten that back to a bud there like so uh, lift you up and see if we can't give you a shot from above so you can see a bit more of what I mean a lot of what I want to do is just going to be um, taking out pieces like this that are crossing back into the center um, and there's quite a, a lump on the top there as well so I'm actually going to if I can get the cutters in that away like so uh, leaving that branch to tuck in behind this tree um, but I am going to also shorten that slightly obviously I've removed all the leaves I've cut them all away um, don't tear them on a beach in the same way that I would a horn beam uh, because uh, these buds are a little bit more vulnerable I find and you don't want to pop them all off um, looking at this piece I've got two leaders I'm going to lose this one and I'm going to cut this back and I'm just literally going to go around uh, trying to keep the trees in check and when branches are crossing or looking untidy and ragged just losing them here and there eventually hopefully building up a nice silhouette of a forest in the distance um, I really like all the movement in these trees I'm going to take out this piece and this piece I'm leaving this as my leader and I'm also going to lose this piece any pieces that are just sort of long and a bit boring really and threatening to interfere with other trees 
in nature has a way of taking care of bits of trees that are interfering with each other. Um, one will overpower another as they compete for light and air um, and the strongest tree will win or the trees themselves will sort of like this snake their way up into a gap and that's what I'm aiming to aiming to achieve. I'm also trying to remove some of these lower branches in the same way that I've done with other trees in an attempt to do a little bit of crown lifting um, and make the trees seem taller. It gives us sort of an illusion of a higher, taller tree. If the branches start a bit higher, you have to be careful not to take it too far, obviously. Keep things in some sort of proportion. But most of the branches, you know, these low branches would be um, shaded out in nature by the other trees. As, you know, as the trees reach for the sky, as it were. Um, yeah. Again, pieces going off in funny, back into one another. I don't like too much. Very handy, these long handled scissors as well. Just getting in, finding your way. Just snip here and a snip there. That tree's quite weak um, and is crossing into this one. Let's move the camera around so you can see better what I'm saying. So this tree sort of runs up and forks here and we have a piece that's gone off and is clashing into this tree here um, and another piece that's come up into a gap. So I'm going to get rid of the the piece that's climbed in and is clashing like so. Um, so I now have a tree that has sort of found the light here. That branch is clashing. So I'll remove those and so on. I'm just working my way around the trees. Um, where I I don't want competing leaders, so I'm removing those. And long pieces like that can be got rid of. And a long straight piece there. Similarly, I'm to lose that piece, and I'm going to lose that piece which is interfering with this tree also. over a period of time I'm hoping to get uh, the trees at the front um, being slightly taller uh, and then I'm tapering down from the, to the back so that uh, to the rear so the trees at the back look further away if that makes sense getting that sort of sense of perspective which I'm not at all sure I'm I'm explaining very well, but uh, you kind of want a dome. And back to front, but you also want the, the further away trees from you to appear smaller, if you can. Okay, so uh, branch there that's going to interfere with this tree. And in fact, I'm going to take that piece off. That's also interfering with that one. I'm also trying to get a bit of taper so I can remove a thicker piece in favour of a thinner piece, like so, so much the better. Mm. A lot of congestion in this top here. And I'm going to opt for removing all that congestion.
for a new leader like so okay um, this tree some of the buds seem to be already trying to burst whether they will survive or not is another matter I'm going to cut that straight piece off I don't like the look of it in fact no, I'm going to remove that whole chunk Let's cut it first to there, and then to there, that's better, and then shorten that piece. Okay, so that's more or less this half of the forest done. Now we can take a look at this half. So, just exactly the same, I'm removing some of these lower branches to um, raise that crown as best I can. Some of these branches that are going back into the forest itself, kind of redundant, so Here, here we have a piece that sort of comes out and then just goes off at sort of right angles to each other. I'm just going to lose that piece and hopefully this piece will then come out into the light here. A lot of congestion here. a bulge I don't like that bulge so may seem a bit drastic um, but at the end of the day that bulge wasn't ever going to go away I was always going to sit there sort of looking at me slightly reproachfully saying you should have dealt with me when you had the chance so so it's dealt with this tree and this tree are kind of interfering with one another so again I'm going to chop them down they both need to grow up taller obviously but we've now created a gap here for them to grow up through I hope uh, we shall see how that goes in the growing season of 2021 mm -hmm. yeah, this one I'm not entirely happy with either it's got some interesting movement but it's a bit too tall for being on the outside of the pack so again I'm going to take out a big chunk of it which may seem a bit drastic but I do want to shorten that slightly again I'm trying to bring that sort of doomed effect so I'm bringing some trees down I'm making space for some trees to grow up I think I do want to keep that one but I definitely want to lose that piece there's a tall tree in the back there um, which I'm going to shorten down like so Beets respond very well to hard prunings like this, as long as you leave some buds there, uh, which is why they make great hedges, of course. Mm. That tree is far too close to that other tree. 
So I've just nipped that out and that piece will have to take over the growing duties. Okay, so again this is kind of work that could wait until the spring uh, but it's done now and then I don't need to worry about it in the spring and this tree can then just get away and grow do its thing and uh, when I've dealt with all the others that I need to repot in the spring and things then it'll be time for this tree to have its first trim perhaps that's better okay so let's move you out a little bit so there we go and I appreciate that it's a uh, difficult to see uh, the whole thing when the, you know you haven't got the fence to look at the silhouette against but I think I have made quite a difference and uh, you know this sets it up for next year I think there were, if I remember rightly there were 35 trees um, planted in this pot all grown from seed uh, they were all originally intended to be individual bonsai trees um, and they'd been pruned and cut and hence we got some movement and some texture and some some taper um, originally in these trees but then I decided I had this pot for Christmas and I needed trees to go in it and there we have it I just suddenly thought I had uh, this piece of old polystyrene out waiting to go out in the bins um, that give you a bit more of a picture of how the trees have uh, grown and their current winter silhouette so as you can see uh, hopefully we'll end up with bigger trees at the front smaller trees at the back that sort of classic dome shape that you often see uh, on a forest uh, or in you know, a piece of woodland on the horizon and uh, I've lifted up most of the um, the crown although the trees at the back are still a bit lower um, because they're that bit further away at least that's the trick for the eye I'm trying to pull off so that's it for this video um, with vaccines on the horizon please 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 take care of yourselves thank you for watching stay safe